You may be wondering why I sound like this at the moment with my voice so cool and awesome. Well, it's because they're shooting a new X-Men movie and I've been chosen to replace Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Or maybe I have a cold. Who knows what the truth even is? Maybe it's somewhere in the middle and I have a cold. But I'm also playing Wolverine in the new X-Men movie. And while we're talking about stupid things, here's a very important question for you. What would you do if you had on your hands the absolute best multiplayer stealth game ever made? Here are your options. A. Promote it and support it for as long as possible. B. Promote it and support it for as long as possible and have community servers available for when you cannot do that anymore. C. Make a free-to-play version of it so that everybody can enjoy it without paying for the actual game that it's supposed to be a part of. Or D. Shut it down because you suck. This question is aimed directly at Ubisoft, the company well known for rebranding itself at one point by replacing its old logo with a pile of poop. One meant to signify what truly lies at the core of that company. It's something that we've known for a while, and it's something that I'm glad that everybody knows nowadays. Even the Ubisoft employees, with which I would often have arguments on Facebook, probably understand now that they work for a shitty company. And don't try to defend it by saying, well, every game has cheaters, why should Rainbow Six Siege even try? I don't know, man. There was there was a time in Ubisoft's life when they were scared shitless about being taken over by Vivendi and Vivendi finding out what they're doing, that they actually tried to make better games. It was at that point when I envisioned the future when the multiplayer component of Assassin's Creed will break free of the single-player component and achieve its full potential. That doesn't seem like it's going to happen, especially seeing how Ubisoft is treating the, uh, the ship-based multiplayer spin-off of Assassin's Creed 4, which seems to be unloved even by the people making it. Instead, what is going to happen is that Ubisoft will shut down the multiplayer component of a bunch of Assassin's Creed games. Now, the PC version of Assassin's Creed Revelations isn't on the list. I'm not sure if that is because of an oversight or if it will actually be maintained online, which would be a good thing. But all the other ones are going poof. All the older ones, I mean. I think 4 is still gonna stick around. And that is a shame, because the Assassin's Creed multiplayer as it was envisioned in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was fabulous. Some small tweaks were made with revelations, which some were good, some not. This is when the microtransactions set in, and the character customization went a bit insane. Whereas in Brotherhood you could customize your character in the sense that they had different colors, and some more advanced outfits that made them look cooler. In Revelations, you could customize every bit of their kit. And you had to spend points that you earned in-game to get those cosmetics. Or you could spend real-world money to get some of that coin, I believe. And it just snowballed from there with 3 and 4. 3, though, I managed to fix the assassination mode, which was unplayable in the previous two games because it was easily abusable. Anywho, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Odds are you've not played the Assassin's Creed multiplayer because you thought to yourself, I played Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, they're single player games. They're good modes too, is a good single player game. Why would you tack on a multiplayer that just has people running around stabbing each other? That's, that's just gonna be terrible, that's gonna be crap. And you wouldn't be wrong, if that was the multiplayer of the Assassin's Creed series, you would be absolutely correct. It would have sucked. People running around, stabbing each other in the face. Not great. And when people play it like that, it does indeed suck. But that's not what this multiplayer mode was. This was multiplayer stealth. Social stealth. And it was marvelous. Its origins, if you're a bit conspiratorial, lie in the game called The Ship, in which you played a passenger on a ship run by an insane person who tasked you with killing other guests played by other characters inhabited by other players, while they themselves would be hunting you. You had to kill them, if you wanted bonus points I mean, with specific weapons or in specific places, and you had to do that without the authorities knowing about it, without the cops showing up, which since it was on a ship, it could be a bit difficult. 
You also had to blend into the crowds because, hey, you were being hunted as well. But you also had needs that you had to fulfill. You had to sleep, you had to eat, you had to clean yourself, go to the toilet and other stuff. It was, and still is, a complex game that can be quite enjoyable if played with the right people. Problem is, getting the right people can be a bit difficult. So I believe that the uh, sequel to it, Bloody Good Time, streamlined the process a bit, a tiny bit. I'm honestly not sure since it's been ages since I've seen it. But around that time, when Ubisoft was publishing Bloody Good Time, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood came out and it had a multiplayer mode that was oddly similar. The same concept. You were in a crowd of people. Some of them looked like you. You had a target. That target also had their own target. And their target probably had you as a target. You had to sneak around. You had to be inconspicuous. You had to blend into your environment so much that people would think you're just an NPC. You had to trick people into attacking random characters so that you could escape, so that they could not see you coming. You didn't have needs anymore. You didn't have wants, you didn't have police, you didn't need to sleep, you didn't have jail. But what you did have was a meter, which indicated just how stealthy you are. And if you managed to keep that meter full, if the person you killed had no idea you were even on the same map as them, then baby, you were winning big time. What you're seeing on the background is a collage of some of the live streams I did of this multiplayer mode in Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed Revelations eight years ago, when I still used to stream on Twitch. Hey, remember when Twitch let you stream games? Weird times, I know. Those were by far some of the best experiences I had in a multiplayer game where I wasn't just goofing around with some of my friends. I was playing with random people on the internet, which, as you know, may not always yield great experiences. But in this game, because the player base was honestly shockingly small, the people that stuck around knew what kind of game this was, and they tried their best to play it like it was a stealth game. Yeah, you could run up the walls, you could use chase breakers, you could shoot people with a gun from a distance, but that would get you barely any points. That would make you an easy target for whoever is chasing you. You'd also be ruining the fun for everybody else, which I struggle to remember if it had a kick function, but I think it may have, in the sense of kicking people out of the match. When you found the right people, which was surprisingly often back in the day, this multiplayer mode, this streamlined version of the ship, with all the pointy bits cut off and smoothed down until it's a shiny, round pebble that you can shave with. That's a con chicken reference for you old people. It was an experience that can barely be put into words. This game made you paranoid. It made you believe that every NPC that looked like it was doing something shifty was somebody trying to kill you. Things got worse if you were on the top of the leaderboard because then you wouldn't just have one person trying to kill you, you'd have three or four. And trying to stay alive then, trying to still accomplish your goal then, and succeeding made you feel like a goddamn living golden god. This of course was in the wanted mode, in which you had a big map. You got a bunch of NPCs that look like you just walking around and everybody else had the same kind of NPCs to shield them from you. you. Had a bunch of abilities that you could use to poison people if you knew who they were. You could morph people, you could make decoys, you could set traps, you could throw smoke bombs. You had a lot of abilities that really let you get creative, sadistic even, and the game rewarded you for variety, for doing things other than just running up to a person and standing them in the face. It encouraged you to be a sneaky bastard who walks around their targets several times to get them to feel an unearned sense of security and then, when they least expect it, they die. All the while, whoever is hunting you is doing the same to you. The thrills that this mode has brought to me were uncounted. The game had, well the games had different other modes, Revelations added a cut down version of this mode which reduced the map size. It was called Deathmatch and it was popular enough, actually more popular than Wanted which probably was not to my liking because Wanted had a few more layers to it. 
it was better. It, it was... It should have been the default mode. It should have been the only mode, honestly. Assassination didn't even give you a target. You had to find your own target. Which was unfortunate because of the system built to let you find that target. You could just find a character, untarget them, stun them, which took a while to get out of, target them again, and then kill them for max points before they recovered from their stun. It was very abusable, because if you were untargeted as the target, you had no means of actually fighting back against your attacker. Assassin's Creed 3 fixed this by having the stun teleport you to a different place on the map instead of just letting you lie there as a helpless victim. There was a vampire mode where you would play as, well, Vlad Impaler, a bunch of Vlad Impalers trying to capture the Maidens, played by the courtesan, and it was a nice mode. But for some reason, for some absolutely insane reason, they decided to add Capture the Flag and Capture the Chest in this game about stealth, and there is no way to stealth Capture the Flag and Capture the Chest. Okay, Capture the Chest maybe a bit, you can, you can get some NPCs to look like you around the area of the chest and maybe have people kill the NPCs while you're sneaking about and trying to look inconspicuous, but capture the flag, my god, it was a train wreck and honestly it was one of the most popular modes in the later ages of that game. Highly regrettable, incredibly unfortunate because you couldn't pick in Revelations and Brotherhood what game mode you wish to play. You couldn't really do much. You were at the whims of the matchmaker. You had no idea how many people were in the game. You had no idea how many people were playing right now. How many of them wanted to play, you know, Wanted or Assassination or Deathmatch even or Hell. Even Captured the Chest or the Vampire thing. And how many of them just wanted to run around like idiots. Stabbing each other in the face and shooting loud guns. As if this were an action game and not a stealth game. That was the game's undoing. That was the undoing of this entire mode of play. You had so little control over how you played it, so little information about who was playing, that it made it very difficult to actually get into after some point when the player population started to drop. Things seemed to be improving a bit as Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag added a system called the Lab, which let you customize the parameters of each match, but it still didn't feel right. Also because they changed the way that movement worked. But for the most part, what was lacking, what was truly, really lacking was the ability to set up community servers. If people knew that there would always be a server that ran wanted, and that at a specific time of day, they would find people playing it, it would have been amazing. People would have not needed to create Discord servers upon which they discuss the possibility of maybe planning sessions in which there will be enough people to actually enjoy the game. Because you can't even start with, you know, four people. Four people would be enough to have an enjoyable session of Wanted, but you need six. Or if you're in a private group, you need three. Or maybe it was two in a private group. Anyway, you had no control over that. And now Ubisoft is taking control even further away from the players by just removing that game mode. Again, I think Revelations on PC is spared, which would be awesome. But Brotherhood itself, even though some would call it a more primitive version of Revelations, it's still goddamn awesome. It is still one of the best multiplayer experiences I've ever had. And I only stopped playing it because I couldn't find other people to play it with. Ubisoft had gold, solid gold in their hands and they threw it away. They didn't market it, they didn't promote it, they didn't highlight it anywhere. Possibly because it was made by somebody in the company who thought it was a good idea and didn't have the support from the rest of the company to, you know, uh, show it off. That's what often happens in companies. Unless you're playing with the big boys at the big boy table. Doesn't matter if you have good ideas, you're gonna get shafted. Or worse, there hasn't been any other game like this one made since then. There's been social deduction games, there's been find the killer among these people types of games, but nothing that blended action, stealth, social deduction, paranoia, and just the thrill, the excitement, the anxiety, the roller coaster ride of emotions that this game mode brought. None have come close. I hope one day something will. Something that doesn't have survival mechanics. Something that doesn't have you needing to do needless busy work. No, this. I want this. But available 
to a lot of people, not locked behind a different game, not ignored somewhere in a corner, not misunderstood. I wanted to shine bright and let me have fun again and inspire other people to do the same. So until we're shutting down, here's what I'm gonna do. At the end of August, the 27th of August, to be more precise, at these times that you're seeing now on the screen, I will be hosting a live stream where I will try to play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's multiplayer or Assassin's Creed Revelations multiplayer mode, or Black Flag if those fail. I'll be trying for at least an hour to find a match, to see if somebody's out there still wanting to play these games, hopefully not to capture the flag mode. So if you have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Revelations on PC, install them and I'll see you on the 27th for one last hurrah. And if I can't find anybody to play with, I'll just, I don't know, regale you with my tales from the filming of the new X-Men movie. See you then. Goodbye.